the seventy to one hundred dollar DLC that is Modern Warfare Three is finally here, at least in beta form. And there's certainly some things that we need to discuss about this game. First off, being that Modern Warfare Three is a direct sequel to the COD that was released in 2022, being Modern Warfare Two, something we have never seen in the Call of Duty series since Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. Each subsequent Call of Duty since COD 4 in 2007 has been a different main developer and a different story along with it. So you haven't had two back-to-back -back games with the same story and, in essence, setting. Modern Warfare 3 changes that. We just had Modern Warfare 2, and this next game is going to directly follow that, with a lot of the things carrying over from Modern Warfare 2. Like when the full game releases, all of your weapons and characters and whatnot will be usable in the game, along with the new additions to it as well. So, I mean, I'm fine with that in the aspect of a lot of your progress carries over, but that also makes people believe that this game should have just been a DLC to begin with, which was the rumor to start off. The rumor to start is that Modern Warfare 2 was going to be a two-year life cycle for COD, a first in the series, which it should have been. Call of Duty should steer away from the yearly releases because, I mean, I know it prints money, but nothing has any value. I don't buy any shop items because after a year, there's no point. They, they hold no value after a year, aside from potentially being in Warzone. But going back into multiplayer and whatnot... Modern Warfare 3 brings back all of the base maps from the original Modern Warfare 2 back in 2009, all with updated graphics and some added doors, but for the most part, these maps remain unchanged. They are pretty much exactly as you remember them. They just look a little bit prettier, some minor alterations here and there, uh, but overall, these maps play, feel, look virtually the same, or at least look how you would remember them. Gameplay-wise... Modern Warfare 3 is pretty much just marketed as being a return to form, whereas 2019's Modern Warfare and 2022's Modern Warfare 2 uh, plays a little bit slower, a little more tactical-esque. Uh, they removed a lot of features that a lot of the hardcore players seem to love. A lot of those are back now. You move significantly faster now, especially with the perks that increase your movement speed. That's a welcome change. You can do slide canceling. There's a lot more movement mechanics here, but the base ones remain. You know, you got your tax sprint, mantling, all of those good things you can mount on corners. So they keep a lot of things, and then they revert a lot of changes. Along with the reverted changes is the minimap is back to normal. Uh, so I'm glad to see that change back. Honestly, it could have stayed the other way. I wouldn't have cared, but I know the majority of the COD player base prefers it to be a traditional minimap. I'm completely fine with that. That's a good change. They also made Dead Silence turn back into a perk, something that I, I really enjoy. Uh, using it as a field upgrade is kind of annoying, but it does make it a crutch perk. I honestly will end up using Dead Silence once I unlock it, and it will just always be on every one of my classes. Very rarely will I not be running Dead Silence. Uh, the perk system is more traditional now. It's gear now, so like gloves, vests, and boots and all of that. So whatever your loadout is, those perks that you have selected, all available straight from the get-go. Again, just a lot of normal changes. Slide canceling is back, so you're going to see a lot of movement demons. You know those people, you might see them on TikTok. They're just constantly, like, slide canceling and doing weird strafes and switching their weapons and tax sprinting and different intervals. Those types of people, you're going to see a lot of them. The biggest point of the marketing for this game is nostalgia. Oh, hey, play on these iconic maps, because that's what we have for you. No original maps right now. Uh, we reverted a lot of the changes that a lot of people hated. So the gameplay feels a lot better. And admittedly, it does. But the fact that this game is pretty much just marketed as, hey, we we know we fucked up previously with a lot of you hardcore guys. We just made the game feel the way it should have from the get-go. No original maps. Some of the weapons are original. But for the most part, they feel like a copy and paste of things we've already had. Again, this is two years in a row of a modern setting. So a lot of the things are going to feel very similar. The gunplay virtually the same though there is less visual recoil so the guns feel a little bit better graphics wise they look fine but honestly it feels like a bit of a downgrade i know infinity ward is very good with their graphics and their weapon models and all of that it feels slightly less impressive this year but doesn't look bad by any means but i can certainly tell it doesn't have that infinity ward love in terms of the graphics and art style and all of that also, as a side note, I hate a lot of the skins that are in this game, specifically, like, the pre-order bonus ones, if you pay the $100 for this game. Like, the Milsim ones look great, but, like, fucking having Price and Ghost and Makarov wear bedazzled chainmail and masks, it's, it doesn't look good, and I don't know why people buy it. I don't, I don't enjoy it one bit. 
it looks dumb as f and I don't know why people why does every single like high tier skin need to have a mask and some armor effect on it I think the pre-order like the whatever it's called the deluxe edition skins I think those look like hot dog shit I don't know why anyone would spend money on it but alas people do oh also uh camping is pretty rampant but it was always rampant in all the other cods so it does feel very annoying to just get killed by campers on like rust and sometimes enemy visibility is super bad like there are just instances where i just cannot see the enemy and i don't know what's going on all of the guns feel like lasers whenever i'm watching kill cams i'm getting lasered beamed across the map not every gun is like that when i use it i have some decent moments where i can pretty much cross map somebody but for the most part i feel very inconsistent with my guns uh, the hit registration seems to be pretty awful. There was one instance where I legitimately, me and this dude, we were playing on Skid Row, and he was in one window when I was head glitching behind a crate. I shit you not, we each shot three mags at one another. None of us hit a fucking bullet. And it's not because, like, oh, the aim was bad. I, my red dot was on his skull. Hit registration. There's something. There's some issue somewhere. I don't know if it was collision on objects or what. Could not kill him from that distance. Again, I don't know if that's a consistent issue. It felt pretty consistent for me throughout different games where I felt like my bullets weren't connecting. We'll see how it is in the final release. Modern Warfare 3, all in all, it's going to be a $70 DLC. That is what this game is. You will get campaign, which COD campaigns are almost always enjoyable. You're going to get multiplayer, which is all the original Modern Warfare 2 maps with some updated graphics, some new guns, things like that. Gameplay that feels a little bit more fluid uh, than the CODs of recent. Kind of similar to Cold War. Uh, it feels like Cold War in a way. Um, and you're going to have zombies, which is going to be dog shit, most likely. Because it's Outbreak, and Outbreak pretty much sucks. Even though a silent majority, or at least half of the community of zombies, prefer the Outbreak mode, according to the stats Treyarch has. So. Modern Warfare 3 is going to be a $70 DLC. Should you buy it? No, you shouldn't. It's not going to be worth $70. However, me saying that means absolutely nothing because this franchise just prints money. COD is never going to stop making releases until they decide to shoot themselves in the foot and stop making releases every single year. Should you buy Modern Warfare 3? No, but I know you're not going to listen to me and so many other people are going to do the same thing. This is a glorified DLC being sold at full price. It is not worth $70, and the amount of $100 like pre-order skins that I've seen in the game, in the beta itself, just proves that COD ain't going anywhere. It doesn't matter what the general community says, franchise prints money, uh, and it's going to continue to do so. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below, and as always, thanks for watching. Cheerio, mates!